Hey guys, welcome to another Server Miner plugin tutorial. I'm your host LTGym007 and today we look at the Crazy Crates plugin. So this is a really awesome crates plugin which allows you to customize the rewards, animations and GUIs of these crates and overall it's really well made and easy to use. So I've got a few examples here. This one I have obviously created but these two come with the plugin and you can customize them and create brand new ones. So if I were to right click any of these it's going to throw me back as I need a key for them and these are obviously physical crates and this is a physical key you can have virtual ones if you prefer that. So with this key I'm going to right click the correct crate and this one has an animation where I need to click four of these and then it's going to change color give it a few seconds and it's going to land on four of them I then click all of the ones that I chose and I got a thousand dollars I got some grass and I got two cheap helmets and, and you can see what the chance of getting each item was so to get one of these keys what we can do is forward slash CC give uh, and then it's going to be a physical key or P and it's going to be for say the server minor one and then the amount you want and finally the player you're giving it to that will give me a server minor crate key which then if I right click the server minor crate you can see there is a really cool animation this is the roulette one where you can get either cheap or or two thousand dollars and I got two thousand dollars for that one now finally I'm going to show you the basic one so if I right click this this is the basic one with a CSGO animation and as you can see we are going to win a cheap helmet. If we want to set a block to being a crate it's very very simple you can do 4 slash CC set and then say the crate example hit enter and that's going to set it like that and now we can open it with keys. So then we can do 4 slash CC list and that is going to list all the different crates and they all have a specific ID. You can then do CCTP to for example crate number one in case you've lost it and then here it is nice and simple. Now if you're feeling particularly generous you can do 4 slash CC give random a physical key one of them to me now finally we can do 4 slash cc force open uh, cosmic crate for lt gym if we don't have a key on hand and that is another way of opening it so let's go ahead and jump into the config file and see how we can create one of our own so here we are on the s and picnic control panel you can see there's quite a few yml files but the main ones we want to edit is the config and then the crates one so if we jump into the config there's a few things in here such as the prefix in chat whether to enable the create menus. Uh, if we scroll down, we've got the not back effect when you don't have a key, the inventory name, and then the inventory size. Uh, do you want to accept physical keys and virtual keys, vice versa? Depends what you want. And then we've got the GUI down here, uh, which you don't need to edit. The main place we want to go is the crates folder, and this is going to have all of the specific crates, each one with a different YML file. So if I go into the server minor one, which I customize, you can see up at the top, these are all the different types of animations. Now, if you want to create a brand new one, which we're going to do, I would recommend just copying and pasting an existing one. So I'm going to download one of these and then change the name and re-upload it. So I just uploaded my brand new crate, it's called YouTube. And if we open it up, it's going to look identical to the basic one. So first of all, we can choose the type of crate. Um, I'm going to choose the animation war. Don't know what that is, but we'll find out. And then we can obviously change the name. So this could be YouTube crate. And what you need to do is change the name all the way through this file. There's quite a lot of them. Do you want players to start with a key when they first join the server? Yes or no? Do we want it in a GUI? How many slots in the GUI? Then do you want it to broadcast? And what is it going to say if it does broadcast? So once again, you probably want to change the name of that. The item's gonna be chest. Do we want it glowing? Yes or no, we could do that. Then the name inside of it, once again, change the name. Then we have the key, what's the key called? So YouTube key, scroll down a little bit more and the hologram. So as you can see, my server minor one was a little bit higher than the others. That's because I changed the height. Do you want that on, yes or no? And then what do you want it to say? So we'll just do YouTube crate. And here are the prizes. So the first one is going to be a player head. I would go ahead and delete that. Choose whatever item we want. So let's go ahead and do iron ore for example. So I'm going to speed this next bit up and as you can see I'm changing various stuff from the law, the chance, make sure you change both of those. 
You can add items with enchantments as you can see and then down below I've got a cash amount and commands will be performed such as giving money or permissions and that is how you would create an item. Now that we're back in game we can do CC reload and if we've done everything properly we can do CC set and this one's going to be YouTube and there we go so it's slightly higher than the rest but lower down than server miner. If we right click we obviously cannot open it we can do CC false open and we're going to do YouTube LT gym hit enter and this is the war one apparently and we got some iron ore and as you can see it's called cheap ore and obviously we could have kept the enchantments but that wouldn't be particularly helpful so that is how you would use the plugin and customize it to make your own crate so here we are on the page for the plugin as you can see it is free to download it's got tons of support um, what you can do is explore the documents on github this is going to have all of the commands permissions placeholders everything that you could possibly want but if you need a server to host it on check out serveminer.com for the best and cheapest hosting around that's it for me subscribe like comment and i'll see you next time